Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you how to replace a compressor using unspecialized tools. You, we are not going to use a vacuum, a vacuum compressor. We are not going to use nitrogen to pressurize the system. We are going to use a compressor instead. So I'm going to show you how to, to replace a compressor using basic tools. So first of all, I'll show you uh, what you are going to need to carry out the project so already we've removed the compressor which was not working fine and we've uh, sold it to the scrap to the scrapers so okay now i'll show you what we need first of all we are going to need a gas this is the gas that we have i use map gas of course you need this gun with the gas so we have this gas one and also going to need the gauges so this is the, the cheapest one you can just bought by the the low side and these are the hoses for charging the gas and also going to need this one this one is a flux it's a it's a soldering paste but since we're going to solder silver to copper we're going to need this due to temperature difference so we're going to use this one so that uh, our road can can work fine okay this is the gas that we're going to put inside the system is ara 134a this is the refrigerant or the freon that we're going to put inside the gas and we're going to also to replace this one every time when you open a system for a refrigerator you have to change the capillary sorry to change the filter dry that's a filter dry this one and also we're going to put this one is called a charging valve this is where we're going to put our hoses through so i'm going to show you how we're going to carry out everything okay so first of all guys what you need to do since we're replacing it we need to put the okay let's come to this compressor this is our compressor it's an old one but it's working fine so here we have three tubes okay so this one is the is the suction pipe which is the low side or is the one that receives gas from the refrigeration from the from the fridge okay and this one is the high side or is the discharge is the one that uh, through which the gas or freon will be pumped to the refrigerator at a high pressure this was and this one is our charging valve this one is where we are going to put our gas to check the pressures and everything okay guys and also this one is the terminals these are the terminals we are going to connect our electricals the relay and the overload so now First thing that we need to do before we put the compressor back, we need to put this uh, charging valve. So we have to put this charging valve here at the charging port, like this. So right now I'm going to solder it, then I'll show you. But before soldering, you have to remove. We have to remove this valve inside it. You remove it using this, the lid, like this, so that when you are going to heat it, you will not damage it since it's made of plastic so now right now I'm, I'm removing it yes so this is we've removed it you can see that it's made of plastic so now we can go ahead and do the soldering then after soldering we're going to put the compressor where it should be like that so right now i will pause so that i can solder okay so this is our condenser which is the one which cools down the refrigerant which is uh, which is discharged on our discharging port so here is the inlet to the condenser and this must be the outlet so you can see that this this is inlet and it goes round and round and round and goes inside the fridge then comes back through this pipe so now we're going to cut this pipe because uh this pipe it is a challenge of leaking over time you can see that it is rust like this so we have to it's a door it is the one that causes that makes the doors to open or close so right now we no longer need it because it will be a challenge it will come after a while why why so now we're going to cut this pipe from here and put this capillary and put this filter dryer here at this point rather than putting it where it is we're going to change it so that it will last as much as possible so right now i've used my my sand paper to clean the surface which I want to cut, which I will join. So I will use my cutter, which is this one, a copper cut, and I'll just put it like this. Okay. Yeah. Now 
now I've removed it. So now we're no longer putting this capillary here. This uh, this filter dryer here. We're going to replace with a new one. We're going to put it here. So this is the inlet to the condenser, and this one should be will be our outlet. Or either we can just change. We just do as we see fit. It just it will just work the same way. Okay. So right now I'll take our compressor. This is our suction tube, which is the one through which gas from the from the refrigeration system from the pipes from the evaporator will come through to the compressor so refrigeration is a cycle where gas is pumped from the compressor which is this one to the to the condenser which is this one and through the this filter dryer to the evaporator then sorry to to the capillary tube and to the capillary tube to the evaporator then from evaporator back to the compressor through the suction tube okay so this is our suction tube as i've said before to say okay this is our compressor which is the heart for the refrigeration system so gas is pumped or it's just we are just raising the pressure every time we raise a uh, pressure there's a positive relationship between pressure and temperature temperature also rises so this is the compressor this is the discharge so here we have gas at high pressure and also at high temperature so gas will go through this uh, this condenser where it will condense uh, this is what we're going to have a reduction in temperature then from there we're going to have this capillar this filter dry which is going to to filter if there is any residues inside the system they're going to be trapped here any moisture then after this we're going to have this capillary tube to the evaporator which is inside the fridge then from the evaporator we're going this is the pipe coming from the evaporator back to the compressor so we have high pressure through this pipe then low pressure through this suction pipe so right now we're going to 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 put so right now we're going to 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 solder the suction pipe to the suction tube like this uh -huh. okay now this is our So now we're putting the discharge. This is our our discharge. Jesus Christ. said we need this flux since we are soldering copper to silver we need this one you will see okay so now we get our we get our 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 milk gas for soldering then we get everything should be in place like this okay this is how the soldering paste looks like oh sorry looks like
okay so right now i'm going to put this filter dryer it's a new one so i'm going to put this with a dryer to the uh, since we have discarded that one because we wanted to remove the the door heaters so okay now we put this one to this end like this and this one to this end then we use this uh, long nose to pinch since this one is the size for this one is too big for the diameter for the diameter of the, of the pipe and we do the same to this side like this yeah this one is fine so okay now we get our our map gas to do the soldering okay so right now before i forget i'm putting back this valve inside the charging valve okay like this then i use the lid to screw it in like this and you feel that it's now firm enough yeah now it's tight enough then it's done okay so now before i connected before i sold the the filter dryer this is i'm supposed to fill it Put the filter drive between these two wires this one and this one so before i do it i try to run the the system the compressor to see if there is no blockage so this one should work as the discharge and this one is the suction so okay now i'm putting it on yeah you can hear from this one so now i want to okay everything is working fine because here this one is sucking gas inside it's sucking air into the into the system and this one is discharging air again so this one is looking fine now i'm go i will go ahead and put the the filter dryer okay so now i've finished to install this filter dryer right here and now i'm moving on to i've installed now i want to pressurize the system using air so here this is my suction so this one it will get into the compressor through this pipe here and it will come out of the compressor through the discharge pipe at a higher pressure so now we pressurize the refrigerator so that we will see if we do have any leak so we use this guy to see if we have any leak so right now i'll go ahead and power on the compressor this one and and i will open here yeah you can see now that the gauge is rising so i'll pressurize until at least uh, 90 psi is yes, 90 psi so right now we're putting air into the refrigerator and this is our gauge the low side gauge this i think if you have this one you are good to go if you're working with domestic refrigerators so now we're at 60 psi and we're still going up all right so right now after we are we have pressured the system we just switch holes close here and switch off the compressor for some time and see if the the gauge the is reducing from where we left it and we'll also make use of sunlight liquid to see if we have any leak on our new sodas where we've soldered so okay right now we have a 115 psi okay right now we have 120 psi we we'll switch it off okay it's 120 psi so we'll see if it's reducing okay so right now what is waiting for this one we have will you make use of the soap to see if we have any leaks if there is any leak the soap will start to to, to bubble we'll see some bubbling on our joints so on this one we don't have anything and on this one we don't have any 
bubbly again so it seems it shows that we don't have any leaks over there so now we have to look on this one this one right here on this side there is no any leak also right now the whole system of the refrigerator is at 120 psi both the low side and the high side okay so here we do, i don't think we have any leak i don't think we have any leak everything is perfect and let's go back to our gauge yeah it's right where we left it so right now we have to to, to take the air out of the system so we'll remove the walls from the high side of this compressor and open the valve now the air is coming out of the system Okay, so right now we're putting this hose on the suction side of this compressor that we, we do vacuum. Vacuum simply means uh, anti-air. We're just removing air out air from the refrigerator to make sure that we don't have air here. Because with air uh, and uh, refrigerant plus oil, they will make up an acid which will corrode our compressor, the windings and everything so it will have a, it will cause problems within the refrigeration system so now our pitch or vacuuming we are migrating the air from the system into the atmosphere so now you can see the gauge is open now we're powering our system okay you can see that is going below zero so we'll run it for at least uh, 20 minutes then we'll come back and then do the gas charging so now we we'll give it some time yeah, sure. So, guys, now uh, we are through with the vacuuming process. Now I am through with the vacuuming process. So, now we have to charge the system with our refrigerant RR134A. So, now we we'll put this is this one the yellow hose is the service hose which we use to do the vacuuming, the gas charging, and etc. etc. So So now we are going to go ahead and charge the system. So before before we remove the walls from the compressor, we have to make sure that we close we close this valve here at the gauge. This one. Okay. <laughs> then we power off our compressor. Then we remove now we connect it. Yeah, now this one is tight enough now we connect our walls to our tank this one is a tank connector a gas can connector now since this one is still closed we have to if you close if you rotate it clockwise like this it will open the valve of this connector yeah now right now it's open then we patch the air since we have removed this one from there now we have air inside so now we're going to patch the air out so here you want uh, only to get the liquid refrigerant into the system so we do it like this so now we patch the the air out like this yep now we're good to go now we open you see it's still in vacuum now we open our gas into the system like this you can see it's rising then we close we give it some time now we see it around the 2 for 24 psi so we open again we close like this so here we are targeting at least 5 psi so we see 5 psi 2 p 6 7 psi depending we'll see how the compressor is performing now we power on the system like this now the system is running now in the our gauge is decreasing now we can see it going towards zero 
So if I charge here my discharge my discharge pipe, it's now warm. Show that the compressor is working perfect. This one should be warm, always warm when the compressor is running, and this one should feel cold. Now it's not yet cold because it haven't completed the cycle. Now it's close to zero. So we'll give you some time to run. We'll give it some time to run. Now it's around 2 psi. Now you can feel, you can hear the gas expanding inside this system. Okay. So now the, the fridge is running. This is, so this is our tip. So we just feel inside. Yeah, it's getting cold. Yes, here yeah, it's cold, and this side is also cold. Yes, this side is cold. Okay, so I think this one is working fine. So we'll just give it 10 minutes 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 15 to just monitor how the fridge is performing now. They've put it at, at, at 75%, so everything is working perfect inside. Now we close it. So basically this is how you recharge, how we replace the compressor and recharge your system using the basic tools and specialized tools. You see we do not use any nitrogen, instead we used air, we used the compressor, we don't use any vacuum pump, we just use the compressor connecting it to the suction side. Now, now you can see that now it's at 1 PSI. Our So right now our running pressure is 0 psi so I want to take it to at least 5 psi so now I'll open like this now you open it you give it some time to equalize this one is still warm to show that we don't have any restriction or any blockage now it's at 4 psi So you have to make sure that you don't overcharge the system. Two, four, six psi. So now we can